whenever I go into the, these lava tubes, I always try to minimize the roof time over my head. What, what I mean by that is, whenever there's a ceiling over my head, I always try to minimize the time that there's a ceiling over my head because a lot, a lot of these lava tubes, the ceilings are very frail, very fragile. And I'll show you right now what I mean. And right there, see how frail these rocks are? And they can just fall and, and break apart, which they do all the time. So, and like, you know, these ceilings are always collapsing. That's why I always try to minimize the roof time over my head. And I don't go very far into these lava tubes for that very reason. One of these on your head, let me get a bigger one. There you go. One of these on your head, that's it, lights out, done. No more lava tubes. So that's why I try to minimize roof time, roof, roof time over my head. All right, let's continue on. Really gotta be careful when I'm climbing this in and out of these entrances to this uh, lava tube because I'm by myself and uh, no one really knows where I'm at. So you have to be, I have to be extra careful, extra cautious and don't take any stupid unnecessary risk, which I, I try not to do. When I'm hiking out here in the lava, I don't just blindly hike out here in the lava. I actually, ha I have specific terrain features that I look for and that'll, so it w that'll indicate that there's some sort of lava tube or even a type of lava that I, li I walk on or choose not to walk on. There's so much variation in, for me at least, when I hike out in the lava field. Like I said, I don't just blindly walk out here. I know what I'm looking for and I, and uh, I know, like I said, the specific terrain features that I look for that'll lead me toward that direction. Even when I'm trekking out in the lava field, I just, a lot of things that'll determine where I even place my, my feet. The sound of the lava, the look of the lava, the color of the lava. There's a lot of indications that I look for geared towards the specific places that I go. Say for instance, like uh, this floor that I'm sitting on, I know that the lava is coming out from uh, here, let me show you this right here I know lava was flowing out coming out over here it looked like it was coming out of the ground so I'm pretty sure there's a little a lava tube of some sort over there I'm gonna show you I'm gonna follow my hunt lava tube I smell it lava tube lava tube watch this come on let me see oh, nice colors I'm not going to go in here. It goes, whoa, it goes way down there. Whoa. Check it out. It keeps going down and down and way down. But this is where I stop. I'm not going to go down there. It's too small. Well, I can fit down there, but I'm not going to go down there. When I walk on the ground, I can tell by the sound. Here. I can just tell by that that it's hollow underneath there. So as I'm walking through the lava, I'm constantly searching, scanning the terrain, looking for signs of a uh, lava tube with caverns underneath. Sometimes you can tell, most of the time you cannot, but sometimes I can tell by the looking at it or like I said the sound of me when I'm walking on the lava like this I can just tell by the sound if I should walk lightly or I can I should not walk at all or I can walk with a heavier foot but most of the time I walk with a really light foot anyway a light footprint because it just habit it's more like self-preservation because you have to learn to walk light on this stuff if you go through I have gone through before, but just up to my knees. But you go through and you go way deeper, even deeper. It's it's like a razor blade. This thing will cut you up. So you really got to be careful out here. Don't just walk blindly. I absolutely do not walk blindly. I know I know what I'm doing out there, and I trade carefully. I try to trade carefully. Just by looking at all of this, I can tell you, it's. Uh, high de degree of confidence that it's it's all hollow underneath here. That's why I don't like to, uh, 
what I meant when I said uh, I like to read the terrain features, stuff like this. I already know, don't walk on this stuff. I'm going to show you the perfect example of what I mean right here. Come, come, I'll show you right here. See all of this particular type of lava flow? I know it's hollow underneath. And here's a perfect example of what I mean. It's hollow underneath, as you can see. And uh, now that we have varying degrees of space underneath a lot of this uh, sealant. Sometimes it can be as minimal as a few inches or as much as 15 or 20 feet. But you don't know, I don't know. So I try to always assume that underneath this flow is, is very deep. Uh, big caves, big lava tubes. So I don't like to walk on these uh, particular type of flows. And I can just tell by looking at them. Stay, stay off of oh, the, the center of it, walk on the sides. And this is exactly what I mean. And if these guys can collapse, come down at any time. And... Uh, they often do. They come down all the time. You know, and I don't want to be in there when they come down. So that's why you, like I said, I don't, I don't walk blindly on, out in the lava field. I, I keep my eyes open, my ears open. Listen to the song when I'm walking. Look for stuff like this. Because I know underneath it's hollow like that. If you didn't know that, well now you do. Always keep your eyes open. Your ears open and be aware of the uh, wherever you're hiking on this island or any island or anywhere for that matter all right let's continue on in that direction okay now in terms of size this particular lava tube by far is the largest opening to a lava tube that i've come across so far it's huge
Well, that was another amazing and fascinating lap with you. Oh, man. It's been a pretty awesome, productive day as far as lava tubes and finding lava tubes. Uh, all right, I'm gonna head on out and uh, call it a day. And I hope you enjoy visiting, trekking, sort of like a little adventure through all the lava tubes. Somewhere on the island of Hawaii. All right, gang, until the next time, I hope you all have a good day and I shall talk to you later. All right, aloha. Watch Kavika on Everything Hawaii every day on Spectrum OC16 with a new show starting Sunday evenings at 7.30. Follow Kavika even more and see the entire episodes on Facebook at Everything Hawaii TV.